Hi guys, MK Pete here. Firstly, I'd like to thank you for clicking on my channel. Uh, today we're out at Milton Keynes Museum. Now we're going to have a little look around and uh, I hope you come along. Don't forget, if you like this video, just click and subscribe, ring the little bell and you get told if I put any more videos up. So uh, here we go, we'll start now. It's a nice boat. It was built in Stony Stratford. It's uh, uh, quite an old, old one. As you can see, it was used by the Environmental Agency. Let's have a little look here. I'm sorry, the shadows. This is one of the boats built by Hayes Boatyard in Stony Stratford, constructed in 1924 for moving timber on the River Thames near Kingston. The owner, Mr Beckett, named his boats after his daughters. One of the last boats built by the company, the Pat, was fitted with more modern diesel rather than steam engine. Pictures of it here. Hayes Boatyard was started by Edward Hayes in the 19... Oh, sorry, in the 1860s. He was an apprentice in Manchester in the 1840s and then came to Wolverton Railway Works. By the 1850s, he was established as an engineer in Stony Stratford. Hayes boats were sent around the world. They went from Stony Stratford to Hayes Wharf on the Buckingham Arm of the Grand Union Canal. They then went by road to the Bridgewater Navigation Company in Manchester. And then they went everywhere. Over here, we have a steam engine of some description. I will see what I can find out on the info board. You know me, an info board, folks. Let me see. Ah! It was a soil steriliser. Portable steam boiler made by Clayton and Shuttleworth in Lincoln. You want to read it, you know what to do folks, press the space bar. The name is from Latin tractus, means drawn as in tractor. Hmm. In my days as a lorry driver, I used to carry sterilised soil. Quite a thing. Imagine that in your garden, chuffing away. Right, we shall be going inside soon, so I'll catch you then. Guys, we're on our way in. But do any of you hold your hands up? Remember these. Used to be in near enough every cap I used to go to. Right, we will go. We're now venturing out. Let's see what we've got. There's a, an info board. We're we'll going to have a look at the info board. It's all about our redways in Milton Keynes. Get a little bit closer for you. you never, I live here and I never realised it was that many miles. 270 kilometres of redways. Unbelievable. Stacy Hill Farm. That's what it is. Let you read it. In we go. It's not 
Not smelly vision, but we can smell a coal fire. Yeah. Going in. That actually is a marvelous. Oh, look at the walls. But it's never not been made now. No, it's too dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it's a Victorian it thing. But this is what you have. No, Victorian room. But it fitted. This was. Hello. You give me a nice look. <laughs> What's he talking about? Victorian <laughs> furniture? Oh, yes. Shut the door. Oh! Yeah, I think it would be really heavy. Who ordered this that? Oh, that's why you must be ready. Yeah. Yeah. And then the finger is shot and do it. Boom! Yeah. Out of the stomach. It's a good idea, though. Polyphon. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. Another bit of Now, this is. I'll put it so you can read it. Yeah. Never heard of it. Polyphon. Polyphon, this is essentially... This gentleman is going to show me. Yes, you will indeed. Wow. Winding up. I'm not open it. Oh, you need to use the key. Ah! Uh -huh. Playing on a metal disc. I don't know if camera will pick that up. Oh, oh yes. Very good. No, this is what you want if you're taking a record of it. Yeah, this I've is just. This disc itself. Oh, we well, can see you another. See. Now it's put in like this. And now this ah. is what it does. It, it, that the sequence of this creates with like, uh, musical notes. And it, it's just pushed over wires. Ah, and yeah. In accordance with the demand of the tune. Ah, very good, thank and you. That's what that is there. They were quite a few things in its time, you know? Yeah, yeah, quite advanced. Yeah. Well, between you and me, if I had to listen to that more than once a day, I'd go bonkers. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> very, very old baby chair. Ah, yeah, Marvelous. yeah. It has three different uses. A bed, a right. push chair, and a rocking chair. Really? It's marvellous. Everyone says how oh, marvellous it is. Yeah. But it has one Victorian fault. Go on. We wouldn't, we wouldn't manufacture it today. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Finger catcher. A finger catcher. And that, of course, is, is a no-no. And yeah. they haven't been able to make something as strong as it. No. But the weight of that, I mean, that's possibly oak or something like yeah. that. Yeah. How old is that? Um, well, I, I've got a date of 1880 for it. Ah, right. <coughs> right, we'll move on into the next room. Well, Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, guys, we're going to move into here now. Into another room. Hello, welcome to the entertainment. <laughs> no batteries, no electrics. No batteries, no electrics, no phones. Absolutely spot on. <laughs> right, what we got here? Another record player or music player, shall we say? Yeah. This is a roller organ. <laughs> Brilliant. It used to be called corn organs because it's a bit like corn of the cob. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. A very simple mechanism, bellows mechanism with a head filter. Very, very good. Clear, I'll just move that for a moment. Yes, yeah, sorry. Thank you. I'm, I'm I'll just get so they can get a. I can read. You know what to do, guys. Press the space bar and you can read it at your leisure. Okay, you see, we we'll move on. You've got another version here by the look of it. Yeah, this is what basically the first form of a paper tape one. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That. done on paper tapes well especially air going through the yeah. holes and then the same sort of bellows mechanism ah, very good very good and behind you is the first jukebox oh 
much. First right. jukebox, guys. There A big version of the one we saw in the other room. Yeah, you take your disc. There you go. Pick your disc, what you want. Put it in there. Get your old penny. And your old pennies, yeah. Put it in the slot. And away we go. <laughs> what age is that? Uh, about 1895. German. 1895. It's called, guys, Symphonium. Yes. That's a nice mellow sound, isn't it? It's a lovely sound. Yeah. But when you think that the average person wouldn't have afford all this. No, no. That would be in a hotel, fire and things. Yeah. And your average guy could go in, put his penny in, and yeah. listen to the Yeah, tune. first you box, unbelievable. This is a French betting game. Is that a game? Yeah, it's a bit like the old bloke. Oh, the old football. bloke football. There you go. It's a betting game. It goes on the floor. The guys just sit round, swinging their wines and beers. Yeah. <laughs> putting the bets on. Yeah. It's at this height, because ladies had long dresses and it's undignified to lie on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. There we go, guys. Oh, my favourite, pig's trotters. <laughs> oh, I love pig strutters. Yeah, but they're not cooked, are they? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the title for this room? This is the kitchen. The kitchen. Yeah. Absolute kitchen. We've got a real fire, guys. Look at that. And Brilliant. Just in the joint for tea. Ah. Look at that. Hanging up, cooking. Get back a bit. <laughs> that originally would have been in front of the fire and I'd go yeah. around this side to keep the heat. And then they'd have the bowl underneath to catch the dripping. Drips yeah. Dripping. That's it, yeah. 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 All the pots. Yeah, a lot of the stuff in here is the same as you've got today. Yeah. And then there's this gadget. Ah, let's have a look at this gadget, guys. What this does. I would guess apple peeler. Oh, well done. Get to the top of the class. Excellent. That's <laughs> I'm exactly guessing. it. That's yes. exactly it, and that you could put pears or anything on it, yeah. pop it on here, that would come in and core it, that would adjust to the size of whatever piece of paper yeah. and then when it's finished that shoots across <laughs> and knocks it into your bowl. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're going out now, going somewhere towards here. It's, it's quite atmospheric here because you can, you can smell coal fire all the time. And this looks like a wheelwright's workshop. Mm. Yeah, it looks like a wheelwright's workshop. And a little bit of sun shining through. A bit of smoke from the coal fires. Pictures of the I'm not gonna read all this out to you guys, you know what to do. So this is a shop. Yes. Wow, now we're going into the general store. Workshop. For those that have alcohol, three pound a pint. Weekend ciders. Just to let you know that there is a beer festival going on here at the same time. Into the local bar. Yeah. Pewter mugs, one with the bone handle. I will touch it to show you. Look at that deer antler by the look of it. Very good. Another shop in here. Pear soap, hands up. All those remember that. Brillo Get everything weighed out
cigarettes, uh, tobacco, I would think. Not one I can remember of any of these. But we all remember Bisto. Hacks. What we got over this side? Chocolate creams. Something you get nowadays. Golden syrup. Little box for Oxo cubes. Food colourings. Jacob's Biscuits. According to that, there's all the different day biscuits. to another workshop ah there we go this is a cobbler's shop all the little shoes the night light's not very good in here guys so I'm hoping it's going to be picking up all right on the camera I can actually remember them. Blakey's. All the stuff. Hanging up. Everything smells old because of the fire. Oh, I love that. Now, working post office. Well, I say working, I don't know. Papers. This museum is actually 50 years old. Or drill bits by the look of it, yeah. Auger type. They're hand drill bits or augers. I don't know where that music's coming from. Planes. And an old wheelbarrow parks above the head. There we go. got here meat stored in cold room during hot weather a slicing machine a little look inside bacon slicer Sausages, ah, proverbial pig's head. Oh, you buy vinegar, loose eggs, good old bobble. Have a look, excellent. Move on. Let's see what else we got out here. Right, let's see what we've got here. Ah, we're getting on some big stuff now. Bang, some sort. Nice. 
सुख होता है Can't get far enough back to actually get it in focus properly. It's a nine, nine horse power oil engine. This is interesting to mechanics. Interesting. I've moved outside and I come across this An old steamer, Northampton, 1946. They even got the belt on it, what they used to use for driving the machine when it was in a static position. Uh, uh. Can you imagine this all fired up, puffing and chuffing away there, the smell of oil and coal, would have been fantastic, in my opinion. Excellent. It's even got a number plate on it. Might be interesting to check that out and see what it comes up with. I'll see if I can get a picture in there. There's a firebox in there. Hot and smelly work driving one of these. Right. Right, we found a schoolroom. With all the old fashioned desks. Now Florence is being teacher for the day. Do you remember any of these guys? Look at this. Do you remember them, the old ink wells? Monitors used to have to go around in the morning and fill up the monitor ink wells. Go and see what's on that desk. Oh, we even have an abacus. Right, one of the old pot belly stoves, look at that. With a coke. Right. What's that one? Dunno. I've had that a few times. Yeah, it's because you're naughty. Look, Look at this, guys, an old pencil sharpener. Come around to you and I'll let you bring it. Teacher's ink well, I would think. Red and black. Ready? We have to do it nice and gently, not too long. And then just carry these around and change them in the mornings. And that's to tell the boys and girls to come in with you. There's the bell for the playground. And that's it. Come in, boys and girls, take to have your lunch. And of course we have the obligatory cane for when you've been naughty. I have met quite a few of these in my time. And we'll go find a sweetie shop though. Right, we'll go on out and see what else. the engine running. Right, we'll see if we can go in there and get a closer look at it. Says please enter. Right, we're in. That's a water wheel of some sort. See it. I can't get back far enough guys to get the whole thing in. I'll try and see if I can alter them. Nah, I won't have it. Oh, a great bit of kit. I 
allow this you can have a raise I wonder if that still exists excellent I found a Civil War leather cannon never heard of one of them 1642 what a brilliant bit of kit there must have been a pin going there to stop the wheel coming off and that's how you pulled it apart Small bore. Wouldn't want it hitting me though. Yeah. Hi guys. Well, I hope you're enjoying this video. If you're still with me, thank you very much. Just a little reminder to uh, subscribe and ring the little bell, thumbs up, and a, a, a right up at the bottom would be very much appreciated. Thank you. We're outside and come across a steam engine well I assume it's a steam engine it's a lathe oh I lied it's a lathe look at this metalworking lathe I would think or a woodworking lathe here we have an info board the light's not very good here guys so It's called a steam driven vacuum pump. Looks like a lathe to me. Excellent. Right, there's a big building here. I've been told there's Formula One stuff in there, so we're going to have a look in there. Get you in a minute. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Oh my God, my God, he's got the Working caravan or something? With the beds? Road phone by Telecom. Oh, now the BSA Bantam. I always wanted one of them. Cracking little bite they were. And then the Japanese come along. 1910 Indian replica. I used to race these things. Look at that. Real hodgepodge of stuff in here. Good advert. Rolls Royce have used and recommended motorine, motorine ever since 1906. It costs no more. The old fuel cans, they were good. What have we got here? Always had a hard day. A great little workshop. Fantastic little workshop. Not a lot of room to work, but in the day you get engine and gearbox on the floor. Look at that. Looks like if I'm that to me looks like a miner's lamp. Yeah. 
MG rocker cover. I think this could be a restoration project. Right, we're going out. Just say good morning to the man standing here with the crash helmet. Good morning. CWS milk service. This has to be an O model Bedford. Has to be. Uh, you got it marked up as a 1500 weight. Oh, look at this. Converted by Arlington, the firm I used to drive, work for. How many of you people remember the clocking in machine? We used to have one in our firm when I started work, back in the day. Click and bang every time. Put it in, stamped you in, stamped you out. <laughs> oh, memories, eh? How many of you remember these things? The C5. God. I remember them, I've never been this close to one. The old Sinclair C5. Nineteen eighty five it was launched. Absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. Ah An old wheelchair, look at this. <laughs> oh what's up here? Let's have a little look up here, shall we? Ah, that's an old signal. Nice armchair. Do my shed. There seems to be various things. Carriage. Looks like it's been restora under restoration. Go down here. All the little models. All the horse drawn carts. Carriages. Gypsy caravan. Formula One. In the days before the halo. Just look at that steering wheel. Imagine doing 200 miles an hour and trying to work out what button does what. Jokes coming out there. Hmm, I wonder why. Must be something to do with the aerodynamics. He's who used to drive it. Ricardo and Kevitt. Excellent. Here we have a driverless pod. There we go. Bend down here. I ain't doing my back a lot of good, but here you go. Strange looking thing. They are about down here now. These are the original Milton Keynes concrete cows. Coming up to 40 years old. All the good days. <laughs> I 
40 years. These are the original Milton Keynes concrete cows coming up to 40 years old. All the good days. <laughs> Forty years. Alright guys, well that's the end of this little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um brought back a few memories for me personally. Well, as I say, it's the end. If you liked it, do the usual, subscribe, press the little bell, comment in the box would be nice. Um so anyway, this is MK Pete signing off. You stay safe. Goodbye. Right guys, we're back outside. Um, I must cut, start again. Boom, 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 boom.